Hey folks, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, news, and interviews. Also home to the best MJ community. Today is Thursday, November 23rd. Hope you're doing awesome and happy US Thanksgiving for those celebrating. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the stock Canopy Growth Corporation. We're gonna be taking a look at a double bottom that's holding on the chart right now at 47 cents USD. We'll be charting CGC specifically, and we'll take a look at some key support and resistance levels. And there's also a potential downtrend on the weekly time frame that we need to keep an eye out for and like I said it's all about 47 cents support from here we'll take a look at the technicals I'll give my thoughts and opinions on what to expect in terms of price action in the days weeks months ahead but this is not financial advice you should never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write this is for entertainment and informational purposes only but before we get to that and more make sure to smash the like it helps support me in the channel it doesn't cost you anything if you're new you can subscribe tick the bell all that good stuff and you'll be notified on any future videos or whenever I go live also, make sure to give us a follow on X, which is formerly Twitter. The handle for that is at GroupPow. Going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. Also going to be giving away a free Pow Group hat as part of the Black Friday deals. So you can win a free hat of your choice by going to powmerch.ca. You can choose any of the hats there. But essentially, in order to enter this this giveaway, all you have to do is go to the Pow Group YouTube channel, scroll down, click on this video here, and then just put any random comment on that video, and I'll be doing a random comment picker. I'll go live, and I'll announce the winner in the next couple of days, so either tomorrow or the next day. So good luck. I love each and every one of you supporting me along the way. And then also, if you go to powmerch.ca, as a thank you to the community and another Black Friday special, you can use code POWBLACK to get 10% off your order at checkout. And that will be going until Monday, November 27th. Also, we do have a sponsor for today's video, and that sponsor is called Moomoo. Moomoo is a NASDAQ-listed fintech with over 20 million users. They just recently expanded to Canada as well. And then if you're in the U.S., they operate in the U.S. as well. But they have some of the lowest fees I've seen. I see people all the time telling me they're spending anywhere from $10 to $15 per trade. With Moomoo, you can get it for as low as $1.99 per trade. And they also have a fat cash bonus. You can get up to $1,520 cash bonus as well. Certain limitations do apply, uh, but I really like the fact as well that they have extended trading hours. In the U.S., you can trade U.S. stocks from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Canadian stocks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So there'll be links for this in the description and in the comment section. And I also want to play this video here as well. So like I said, make sure to check out the links in the description box and in the comments section below. I do want to bring up the CDC chart and we'll use Moomoo's app. You can actually download the mobile app or the desktop, desktop app. I'm using the desktop app right now and I'm very impressed with it. You can do some, you can get your quotes, you can see the market cap, uh, you can see the amount of shares. So it's great analysis as well. You can see all of the news pertinent to Canopy as well. Add it to your watch list as well. You've got paper trading. So if you wanna just practice with paper money, fake money, you can do so as well. And then, like I said, they have all of these analysis tools, which is really, really cool. Uh, a lot of different software tra uh, charge you for that. So you can use you know, EMAs, you can use exponential moving averages, you can use MAs, moving averages, you can use head and shoulders, you can use fib retracements, all of that stuff. And like I said, it's all free within the app. And then you've got your different time frames. So we'll take a look at the weekly time frame. One thing I did want to bring up here is we are at risk of a weekly downtrend. So we have our high after the HHS recommendation to schedule three, we had a massive move up. And then we pulled back, pretty much gave back the whole move. So now we have our high, low, lower high, and a potential for lower low. So right now it's a double bottom at 47 cents. We have the low here at 47 and a half, and then we actually dipped slightly below it, but 47 cents, so 0 0.471 and then 0 0.475, we slightly dip below it, but it's holding at the moment. So that was a nice entry to potentially enter there on that double bottom and set a very, very close stop. And then if you entered there, we actually hit a high of 61 cents. So you could have entered here at that 47 cents, put a slight stop, a tight stop, maybe at you know 45, 44 cents, and then you could have seen a ride up all the way to 61 and a half cents. 
And then, like I said, if we do lose 47 cents, then we're in a weekly downtrend. That's that's key support right now. It's a double bottom and it would avoid a weekly downtrend if that support holds. We could still see an EMA 12 and 26 bull cross as well, which I've been saying for a while now. We need to see that happen to be confident that this bear market is over. The last time that happened was in November of 2020 when the Dems took control of the Senate on that run up, right? So if we just take a look at the chart, we've been absolutely destroyed. And then if you want to go and grab the, like I said, you can use the FIB retracement tool and you can go from the high to the low here and that will give you your FIB retracements. And then if we go into a shorter level time frame, I do want to bring up the 15 minute time frame because we were talking about this in the Power Group private community. I had a couple of people asking me if there was a head and shoulders on the 15 minute time frame, the five minute time frame, and there actually was. So let's bring up the five minute time frame because that's what we were looking at. And there was some confusion with regards to that five minute time frame. And it just because it's it drug out for a little while and people were getting a little bit confused. So it was right here. So if we take the head and shoulders. So you go here, grab the head and shoulders tool. And again, this is all included within the app. And we'll just do a quick example here. So there was a head and shoulders that was forming, but some people in the Power Group private community that I was talking to were a little confused because it kept going, right? So then what you could actually do is take the trend line and draw a trend line. And then that's your downward slope and resistance. And then you can draw a horizontal line of support and it's actually a descending triangle. So if you take your low to the high, or sorry, high to the low here, move that out, it said we were targeting about 56 cents and that's exactly what we had. And then you can also take, you can go to the 15 minute time frame, and when you see things are starting to kind of drag out like that, you can go to the 15 minute time frame. And if you look here, it's more of a head and shoulders on the 15 minute time frame. And head and shoulders happen at the top of a bull trend. So when we're, up, we're in an uptrend, which we were, and then inverse head and shoulders happen near the end of a downtrend when we're in lower highs and lower lows. So in this case, we were higher lows and higher highs. We were in an uptrend. So again, it wasn't as clear in the five minutes. So that means just zoom out to the next higher level time frame. And on the 15 minute, you, see, you can see here that it was actually a 15 minute head and shoulders. And then five minute descending triangle. And if we take the measured move here from the high to the low using the neckline, and we move that out to the neckline, again, it's saying we were targeting about 56 cents. So you could have entered, we also confirmed a 15 minute downtrend with a lower high and lower low. And we were also seeing a EMA 12 and 26 bear cross. So there's a ton of confluence, tons of, that's technical analysis 101. When five or six indicators are saying down from here, then we have more confidence. If only one or two are bearish and the rest are bullish, then we're expecting bullish momentum, right? But in this case, it was very, very evident that we were more than likely going to drop from there. And you can even draw this trend line here as well, right? Where we held that as support, we had our measured move of about 56 cents. So you could have went in here when we lost the neckline, you could have shorted it for about, you know, 5%, I think it was. And then you could have went in, you could have went, when we confirmed the 15 minute downtrend, the EMA 12 and 26 bear cross, and then descending triangle. And then we had that support line there as well. And then you could have entered there around 57 cents, uh, 56 cents rather. And then you could have seen a bounce all the way up to 60 cents again, right? So that is how you play that. But like I said, right now, the most important time frame for me is going to be the monthly. If we can confirm a monthly uptrend, which we're forming the monthly higher low now, we still need the monthly higher high. But in the terms of the weekly time frame, it's all about 47 cents from here. If we lose that, we're probably going back to the low there at, which is 34 cents. And then basically the whole move is given back from HHS, right? We could get a DEA recommendation. They could give a response to that recommendation and that would send the whole sector soaring. But it could happen potentially in Q1 2023. Keep in mind, there's still tax loss harvesting into the end of the year as well. But key resistance is going to be the high here at 67 cents. If we break 67 cents, we have a lack of resistance all the way up to 192, right? The high of that bounce from HHS recommendation. So all about key 47 cents support, lose that, then weekly downtrend confirmed, and we lose the double bottom support. And then, like I said, we need to see that weekly EMA 12 and 26 bull cross to be confident that the bear market is over and we're entering a potential new multi-year bull market. And that would be the first time we saw these cross bullish since November of 2020, right? That is a long time. So if we see these cross bullish, there could be tons of upside here. I'm talking, you know, three, four, five bucks in a hurry. And then that would also give us monthly uptrends confirming again, right? And we're probably a couple months away, if not several weeks, if not a couple months away from seeing a golden cross with the 50 moving average below the 200 crossing, that's a golden cross. So that could happen over the next few months as well, a few weeks and maybe a couple months. So hopefully this was helpful. 
And again, if you were looking for a trade, it was a nice entry there off of that 47 cent support because if we lost that, we were in a weekly downtrend, so I would have set a stop, a tight stop. But you won if you entered at 47 cents because we did bounce, like I said, after that all the way up to 61 cents. So that was a nice trade opportunity. But going in it there, we'll do another update shortly, but make sure to check out the description and the comment section for links on Moomoo. And like I said, you can check out their app on mobile or desktop and you can use all of those tools for free. But going to end it there, it's Rod with Pow Group. Thanks again for joining us on The Pursuit of Wealth. If you found this video helpful, please smash the like. I would appreciate it. Share the video with your network and we'll see you again on the next video.